Hey guys, Neomas here. Transfer day is officially done. We need to talk. Pablo Mari done. We've got our left-sided centre-back that Mikel Arteta wanted. Cedric Suarez from Southampton. That is officially done. It's all there online done. And we all thought that there might be a little something going on later. Possibly... There were rumours on Joe Willock being loaned to Newcastle. Nothing happened there. I, I even heard some random talks about Arsenal looking to bring Olivier Giroud but, uh, back into the club. Obviously, that wasn't going to happen uh, due to Frank Lampard saying uh, earlier on in the day that he was going to be staying at, at Chelsea. But we got what we needed. It wasn't an exciting window for Arsenal. But we really got what we needed. We got our, we got two defenders. And that's really what we wanted. Now, we got a big test on Sunday. All the malarkey with the transfer window is now closed. If I know if there are deals, if we have some deals potentially with players in Scotland, it's somewhat open. But for the most part, it is done. January is done. And now we're up for the second half of the season. And we got a big test on Sunday. Arsenal versus Burnley. Burnley away. We know Burnley are going to be difficult. I was listening into the press conference uh, earlier on. And Mikel Arteta. He knows what to expect from Burnley. I know what to expect from Burnley. They're going to be solid defensively. They're going to press us. They're going to be a nuisance. They're going to probably kick us as well. And we have to be able to combat that in this game. Their last game was against Manchester United. They won 2-0 comfortably. And we need to step up. We have to get a win. It's time for us to get wins. I know Arteta is doing the best that he can. Uh, and even though we probably won't see Pablo Mari and we probably won't see Cedric Suarez, who I believe is still injured for another few more weeks. But in this game, Aubameyang is back. Socrates is fully back. Uh, David Luiz is back uh, as well. So we've almost got the full Arsenal ready to go to Burnley to attack. So you could see... Burned Leno in defence. Um, I think Hector Bellerin will actually uh, get a start in this game uh, at uh, right back. I think David Luiz and Socrates will go back to centre back. Uh, and I've heard stories about Kalazanac has been back in training along with Kieran Tierney who's back in training as well. But I don't see uh, Kalazanac starting for this game. I think Bukayo Saka... And Martinelli on that left are just too good to drop. So you have to start Saka at left back. Have to. Now, if he gets an injury or whatever happened or he's sick, then bring Kalazanac in if he is healthy. So for me, I'm going with Saka at left back. We're going to stick to the 4-2-3-1, um, how Arsenal have been playing. We're going to go with Torreya and Jaka in that midfield. Torreya, he's had some rest over the past week or so now. Uh, so I see him ready for this game. Further forward, we're going to go with Meza Ozil playing behind, uh, playing in that furthest forward in terms of a midfielder. And then left, obviously, we're going to go, for me, it has to be Martinelli. I really do think it has to be Martinelli. Then on the right... I am going for a change and I'm going for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang on the right. And then up top, I'm going to go with Lacazette. Uh, and I think that that in itself is the best formation that we could play right now. I don't care who Burnley have. There's no way on Sunday, I know Burnley are going to come out and I know they're going to be difficult. But there's no way that Burnley will have enough to beat that start in 11. That start in 11 has got energy. It's got experience. It's got goals for sure. Especially with the way how 
uh, Saka and Martinelli have been playing. And now with Aubameyang coming back, with David Luiz uh, coming back as well. It's a formation set up for success. That's what we want. We've had a good transfer window. Less time to put the steps that have put in place during the transfer window to the second half of the season. I do think, though, that Pablo Mari will be on the def- uh, on the bench. We don't have a lot of centre backs. Um, Mustafi is injured. Obviously, we got Holden there, so I could see Holden, uh, Mari on the bench, uh, and then probably a mixture of like Willock, Sabios, Inketia. Yeah, I- and I think that in itself is a decent bench as is. But what do you guys think about the game? With the transfer window, it's how it's gone. Has it left a good impression to you? We got For me, we got everything that we needed right now. Let all the big stuff be handled in, in the summer. So if you're an Arsenal fan right now and you're wondering, oh, what are you going to rate this transfer window for? Like, don't even bother. Because most teams don't bring in big signings in January. It just doesn't happen. Most of the teams that even brought in players, as particularly in the Premier League, brought in loans with options to buy. Cedric Suarez is a loan with an option to buy, even though his contract runs out at the end of the season. Similar thing with Newcastle and Danny Rose. They loan Danny Rose from Tottenham. And what will probably happen is, if he's good, then they'll offer him a contract. Uh, and that's how they're going to do it. And it's the same thing with Cedric Suarez. Cedric Suarez has a chance to get an Arsenal contract. He's come on loan. His contract runs at the end of the season for Southampton. We'll have a chance to sign him on a free if he's any good. And that's what it is. So let's take this good work that we've got done. We've addressed the problems. Let's go out there and attack. And win this game against Burnley. Now, Burnley are a tough side, so my prediction for this game has to be... hmm. I'm going to go with a 3-1 victory. 3-1. And I, I think Burnley will cause us problems. But I just think that on the left side with Martinelli, with Saka... Abamyang back in the in the squad. I mean, Abamyang himself is a goal just by himself, waiting to happen. I, I could see three with David Luiz back potentially scoring a goal. Mesut Özil, he's due a goal. Granit Xhaka, he's due one. Torreira, he's due one. And then Lacazette, he damn sure is due one. I could see goals in this game, so I'm gonna go with a three-one victory for the Arsenal. And let's start to rise up the table. But guys, leave your predictions below on what you think about the game. What you think about the transfer window. Interesting to hear your thoughts on how everything has gone. I hope you've enjoyed the series that I've been doing all January. I've been very, very consistent with how I've been uploading videos. Not quite the one a day that I was thinking of uh, and initially. But, you know, life stuff just kind of takes over. But a good good month to upload kind of transfer content and I will be continuing to upload more transfer content as the season goes on uh, with how that goes probably more like once a week but leave your comments below on your thoughts on that like subscribe to see those videos in the future and I will see you all next time which will be Sunday afternoon after my review of the Burnley game Peace.